So today's topic, uh, Johnny Depp. If you guys aren't aware, uh, Johnny Depp is an actor in Hollywood. You might have seen him in Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, he got ixed from the role of Captain Jack Sparrow after he had incidents involving Amber Heard. Uh, the two were involved in a messy divorce in which uh, Amber Heard alleged that apparently he threw some hands at her. Uh, after which, uh, basically, Johnny was canceled by everybody. Uh, everyone poured out their support for Amber Heard. So, recently, some audio came out this week, and we're going to take a look at a conversation that they both consented to uh, that was recorded. This conversation took place uh, about six months before the divorce proceedings happened. It's not true. I'm not the one who throws pots and There's a diff that's the different. else at me. That's different. That's one does not... <laughs> Negate the other. Just because I've thrown pots and pans does not mean that you Vases. come and knock on the door. Pots and pans? I like how she's saying it like it's not a big thing. Pots and pans. So, uh, listen, I ain't no Albert Einstein, but if we talk velocity of a pot or a pan flying towards you, bro. Yeah. Pots and pans? I'm not going to get into the details of that fight. You and I both know that you split when there is no physical and that you do it and meet like at the very beginning of fights these days. What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So, so, so her thing, her whole thing, her whole thing is because when they have an argument, she leaves. But more important, it's the language that she uses. She says, even when there is no physical element, meaning. So she's basically just admitting to the fact that she's yeah. put his hands on him because she no, her that. language is indicating it's very casual and it's normal. Even when I don't, he knows he's a man. If there's a fight. And the police comes down, and he was in the fight. Not fighting, but in the fight. If the police come down, the man's going to be taken away. Oh, yeah. Even if it's his home. If it's his home, be... even if it's she started, even if he gets hit, no. Keep in mind that women are just as likely to engage any kind of physical interaction within a relationship. Just as likely, if not more. So if you know that that person is like that, what's in it for you to stay there? And I would split, too. You do it and you get dressed. You are screaming at me. I'm not going to validate my actions last night. I feel like Ooh, last you swerve. She's good at that dance. Mm. When you accuse me, I swear. I, what? I swear. Accuse me? Very bad. No, I'm talking I in reacted. Toronto. I, I did not start screaming until you poke an animal enough. It is eventually, no matter how friendly it is, That's how cool. True. That's the word of someone who likes to throw hands. Let me tell you something. If you put the blame on the fact that you're physical with someone on them, that is the language of the... That's the language of the oppressor. All right. You made me do it. You punched me in the you're... thing and you, you spit me in the out. face. And you said, no, no, I didn't. What the are you talking about? And I, I watched you, you lie, and then I, I didn't I punch you. And by the I, way, you. I'm sorry that I didn't uh, you, uh, uh, punch hit you me. across the face, and but I was hitting you. It was not punching you, babe. You're not punched. Don't tell me what it feels like to be punched. So now she's gaslighting. If you know what gaslighting is, is when someone lives a reality and they're made to feel almost crazy about it by other people, and made to think it's all in their head. Right? That's a common tactic that people will use in order to deflect from the negative things that they've done to others and make the people who they've done those things to think that they're crazy. Narcissist! You got hit. I'm sorry I hit you like this. But I did not punch you. I did not deck you. I was hitting you. you can't I don't know what you. the motion of my actual hand was. But you're fine. I did not hurt you. Wow! And you, and you can imagine oh, wow. this happened right at the time where she claims that he was always putting his hands on her, that he was terrorizing her. Now, listening to this conversation, does does a man who leaves whenever yelling starts sound like someone who's constantly putting their hands on you? The language that she's using, the stuff that she's saying is what society Things feels of, um, when women are physical with men. Right, the idea that because women are physically weaker than men, that they have the right to, and that because they don't do as damage, that they have the right to put their hands on you. And I've already brought this up in another video, yeah, but I'm like, you don't know what kind of trauma people have get, been through. You don't know what happens to them when you put their hands on them. Just, I know for me personally, man or woman, when you tap my face like this, I want to deck you, just because of my past. I can't like just even thinking about it, I get I get riled up, right? 
So I could imagine that people within a relationship with more serious stuff that they've been through, when you put their hands on them, you don't know how they're gonna react. Just don't hit people. Keep your hands to yourself. If you wanna exp express something, use your words. You got words, use them. Does this sound- And then you be talking about men not being able to express themselves. Express yourself. Don't use your fists. Don't use your hands. Keep your hands to yourself. And talk. It's, it's just really funny that- Wait, you and your relationship with your girl, you don't talk with your hands? Boo boo ne- Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> I wish a mother would! Oh, I thought you were gonna- <laughs> Yeah, yeah! <laughs> no! You really wish they would? No, I wouldn't, wouldn't wish- I kinda okay. wish they would- No, I'm just kidding. You wish your girl was No, that? no, no, I wouldn't wish they would, but I'm just saying that is not something that is possible. Never, yeah, ever. I've never seen my parents get physical. Yeah. Not even the thing that the, the woman they call a love tap. I, would, I don't know what the hell that is. You know what it is? Basically, it's when you're okay. This is actually I was gonna bring this up right after. It's when women like get frustrated with a conversation, so they just like. I've never seen. We are good. They they got it. Okay, I just wanted. They to make, got they got yeah, it. You see that reaction that you have? You got That's it. the reaction I have, bro. And so I, I tell understand. girls. I don't think that is a trauma, but it's just annoying. No, it, 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 I never seen my parents do that. My girl never did that. I never did that to my girl. We don't. We don't even scream. We don't scream. Yeah. No, you have after an argument, you don't don't scream that shit. Yeah. You you could go find some some. Hey, <laughs> yeah. you better come. You better calm down. You better call Tyrone. Mm hmm. You can't use my phone. <laughs> <laughs> do you think that I as a man when I get frustrated with my male friends that I put my hands on them when, in the middle of a, a heated conversation I've never cause you know I mean, what I'm, might ensue right cause we understand hey. that between men we don't put we don't we don't play hey. like that so it just it blows my mind and you see how comfortable she is and she does something to a heightened degree where she's closed fist and she's trying to guess like the person afterwards physical fights I did start a physical fight. Yeah, you did, so I had because, to get out of there. Yes, you did. So you did the right thing, the big thing. The, you know what? You're admirable. Yo, even when he does the big thing, he's still a b He tried to stay there, he gets dicked in the mouth. Well, he didn't really get hit, and you're fine, did you? He leaves, oh, okay, you're the, mirror, you're the big person. He can't win. He can, That is a lose-lose situation right there. Every single time, what, 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 what's your excuse? When there's not a physical fight, then what's the excuse there? Maybe the excuse is that he knows it might escalate into a physical, physical fight. <laughs> it sounds like you guys do this so often that that's why he doesn't want to be around for those conversations. Yeah, yo. You know where it starts. It starts with yelling and it starts with something else. And, and, and so you want to avoid the genesis of those kind of situations. You 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 leave the situation. It's, it's pretty, it's call it out. Call pretty. me out on it and help me. I will. I will help try. Help me because I might not even realize I'm doing it. You've got to help me. Me. Oh, I can't, can't be an excuse to leave. I promise won't explode if we just do the things a little different in the fight. You know, like, don't walk away from me. Do it in a different way. And I promise I, promise I won't resort to the I same shit. I won't resort to the same shit. I promise. Again, it's his responsibility that she's like that. Help me, save me. Yeah, but you didn't help me. It's crazy, man. I would have not tolerated a single word from this broad. It's just crazy to me that a really famous dude like this will go this far. But then you realize, this it ain't is, got nothing to do with that. This this touches people at every income level, every status level. But I would never. A major. If things get physical, we have to separate. No, we have no, we to don't. be apart from one another. Whether it's for fucking an hour or 10 hours or fucking a day, we must. There can be no physical violence. I can't promise you that I'll be perfect. I can't promise you I won't get physical again. God, I fucking sometimes get so mad. I lose it. See what happens when you hashtag believe her? Keep, you keep silence, the same energy. You silence, you ostracize, and you push people to the brink who are actually innocent because you have this blanket idea that you don't need factual proof in order to condemn people. This is unbelievable, man. You listen to this audio and it's clear what's going on. It's obvious. Keep in mind, this is a conversation they both consented to having recording because they just wanted to talk. And you know what? what this, this is out now? Why? Okay, the reason why this is out now, we're hearing about this now, is because <clears throat> they had the divorce. She didn't want to get divorced, right? She didn't want that because she worked so hard for the wedding. You know, the image of the wedding and everything and stuff. They get a divorce. She's not happy. 
He has money. He's like, you know what? It is going to be what it is going to be. It's okay. Talks to Amber and like, hey, you know what? Let's never talk about this again because it's everywhere in the tabloids. It's ruining my reputation. It's ruining everything. It's not, it's not our business. No, doesn't need to doesn't need to be out there. Don't talk a word about us. I won't talk a word about us. And let's leave it at that and keep it going. She spoke words of that and went back again. And then he went like, okay. You wanna play? Okay. And then he put that, that shit out. A couple That's days ago, happened. she was a, a, a big speaker at the Women's March in Los Angeles. And you come to find out. She's the oppressor. We got married. I knew the fucking fights weren't gonna stop, but I thought maybe it would, it would curb them a little. That's where he messed up. That's where he messed up. Listen, you guys If you have a problem and you're gonna marry yourself, you think that problem's gonna go away because you have, you, you're gonna get married or you're gonna have children or you're gonna buy a house, a boat, a fucking chihuahua pet. It's the opposite. Even a Chia pet won't save you. Ch -ch -ch Chia. All right? Because the reality is, once you have that security and you know that other person is not going to leave, you're actually more likely to exhibit all the behaviors that you're not used to. You know, you're less likely to do it in a relationship because a person can leave at any point. Once they're married, they're tied to you. So you can engage in whatever behavior because you have to maintain this facade of a perfect relationship. And on top of that, it doesn't solve anything. I mean, it just adds more pressure. Yep. It just adds more pressure. So if you were having more pressure than you had before and you was fighting before, chances are you're going to fight more because of more pressure. Yep. It's that's, like, what, that's what he fucked up. People understand that early on in a relationship, they might lose their partners. So they hide a lot of their behavior, right? Because they know that the person's not fully invested. I mean, of course. I mean, when, when you, it's just like doing business. When you do a business with another company, you're going to send your best employee. Does the best employee represent all the com all the employees? No. He's just your best chance of doing business with that other company. And that's pretty much it. And you send your best employee. But one day, when you get in a relationship with that company, the best employee is going to have to go on vacation. And the rest of the employees are going to ensue. And then you're going to see the real deal of the company. Ooh, uh, uh, Johnny's, Johnny's not here? Nah, Johnny's not here. You're on break. My name Rick. How you doing? <laughs> I'm taking care of you. And then you see the real thing, the real company, the rest of the employees. In an effort to be woke, a lot of these, you know, woke activists. Woke activists. Yes. A lot of these woke activists. Woke activists. Like, do you guys understand the point that where he was at with his life? What if he had taken his own life? All you people, it's very likely. Because you don't You, you don't lose believe. a lot of money. You lose most of your work. Everybody ostracizes you. You can't go out in public anymore. How do you think that treats... Thank God he had the tape. Because if he wouldn't have the tape, no, nobody's really like that. Nobody's really going to go out of their way to lie. Yes, you're telling me an actor, someone that impersonates, impersonates someone else for their, for their work, is not going to be able to do it in real life? It's not going to be able to lie to, 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 to have a, a certain kind of advantage? People do it all the time. I already said this in another video, but like there are no shelters for men who are hit. There are no resources for us when these kind of things happen. I, almost every man I can think of can honestly say that in his relationships, he's had women put their hands on them physically. Every single one. But then if I ask the opposite, it's not all women. Because in our society, we allow women to showcase their frustration and their aggression physically without any repercussions. And if men complain, we're seen as weak. We're seeing, grow up, Johnny! You're such a baby. Right? Her words to me weren't even her words. It was society's words. Pretty much. Telling men you what happens to you. Imagine like you're your man, you go to a police yeah. station. They're gonna wait until something really happens to her. Yeah. To be honest with you, yeah. If nothing happened, they're gonna be like, Well, leave. It's like that great leave. leave. I um I've seen it, man. I've seen it so often where women are that comfortable putting their hands on people. Bro, I work in bars. The number of girls I had to remove from the bar. Because they're the most problematic. Does not equate the number of guy I had to remove from a bar. <laughs> guys want to fight. Yeah, girls fight. Girl fights guys. I'm sorry. Guys fight guys. And yeah, and a woman can... Girls put, fight guys and girls. A woman can put her hands on a man a hundred times, and if the man retaliates once, he's the devil. Si finita. Do you understand how much patience that requires sometimes when... And look, there's nothing wrong with walking away when there's a fight. Oh, no. Listen, I've done it before. Plenty of times. I've done it. There's even a long video of me on this channel where a woman became very belligerent. I have my own little incident, which you guys can go watch. 
Well, you're, 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 and I was you're, very patient. She was putting her hands on me. She was screaming at the top of her lungs, and I was like, "Yo, listen, you gotta, you gotta bounce. You gotta leave right now. You gotta go." And she just kept going and going and going. It didn't care, you know. It didn't care, and of course she doesn't care because she knows there's no, there's no consequences for what she does. So she permit. I could never, even though I was hurting, even though all this stuff was happening, I had to sit there and take it. And I'm like. So I know exactly what he's gone through. And the best thing you can do is walk away and not do anything. Because even though she deserves to get equal rights and equal lefts, even though she deserves it, sometimes you got to be smart before being right. Or left. Because I could have given her that, and I would have given her a little bit of sense of justice, but then I'm in jail. I have a criminal record. I can't travel anymore. My whole career is derailed. All because... I retaliate in a justified situation. Because, you know, they're going to believe her. So then women are going to be like, why do you need a men's rights activist movement? I didn't get it before. I get it now. Yeah. No. So anyways, um, I think that pretty much touched on all my points that I want to touch on. What do you want to say about women who are physical and stuff? It sounds very ruthless to, to, have to, to ask for... It sounds very ruthless to sound for, for proof. But it's it's the only thing that we have, right? And wouldn't it have been for those tapes, those recordings, it, he would still be canceled. And a lot of people that I was talking to were like, "Yeah, no, nah, I believed her. I believe I, I believed him. I believe it. I never believed her once." Yeah, okay. He does. It doesn't matter. Some of you must be lying because he ain't got no job right now. You know what I mean? Some of you must be lying because. He was not in no movies. It was canceled. It's like saying, hey, nobody likes Crocs. Some of you are lying because that's a billion-dollar industry right there. Crocs shoes, yeah. some of you like Crocs, okay? Not all of you can be like, hey, you know what? We don't like Crocs. They're ugly. Nope. Some of you motherfuckers are lying. They make money, okay? <laughs> same thing here. And so you see, the same thing that led to her being believed is the same thing that led to Kobe Bryant's accuser being believed. Right? You guys are willing to tarnish anybody just because someone says some stuff, regardless of what the because evidence fits, is like. Because it fits your narrative. No, and that's what I'm saying. I, I, mm -hmm. I'm not trying to go from our narrative or anybody's narrative. I'm like, where's the proof? If there's no proof, don't bring me the story because I don't have all the elements. It's I can't give you a judgment on something I don't understand the scope of. It's like trying to build a house on land you haven't surveyed. It's like, like, build, it's, like, it's like trying to cook a meal with ingredients you don't know about. Good luck. Let me go put that ghost pepper in my uh, oatmeal. You gonna learn today. Here it is. So it's by Incredibly Average. He's a small YouTuber, and he's actually covered a previous incident in which, in a <clears throat> deposition, uh, Amber was caught was caught lying about how physical she's been with Johnny Depp. So if you guys go Incredibly Average, he's a small YouTuber, but he's done quality work. He's really done a great job. It's almost an hour the audio that he had. But it's worth but it. But if you want more information, want to see the full context, just to know that we didn't edit it, go check that. Don't take it from our word. Just and, go watch it yourself. And be sure that? to subscribe. <laughs>
but every time you don't like what I say and you can run away, will never work out anything. You can't run away every fight. You can't, it's easy. It's, it, it's not brave, it's not strong. It's harder to say to somebody, I wanna work this out. I wanna face what I have. I wanna face what you have. I wanna work it out with you. You're not working it out. You don't fight for me. You don't fight when there's a problem. You don't come to me. You don't uh, uh, make peace with me. You never extend an olive branch. You're never the bigger guy. You're never the one that's like, okay, I'm gonna put my own feelings aside for a second and say, this is bigger than us, let's stop fighting. You never are the one to come and knock on my door. What, because I, we, 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 no, because I wanted to have you as I my- I didn't interrupt you, know. you, you asked me, right? You said, right? I meant you interjected. I meant you said. You said. How about that? See, now, is this better? I answered you. I addressed what you're saying. Now, can we please not fight about that? Can we please not fight about that? Oh, you paid. How about we talk about that? Wow. You brought that shit back, man. Make a video about that. Make a video about that. Why don't you make a video about that? Why don't you make a video about that? Do you see any similarities? <laughs> Oh. It's narcissistic behavior. Everything I speak about is important. Everything you want to speak about, can we not talk about that? Yeah. Let's just talk about this.